Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. I'm going to do something with this Avid S1 that uh, you might not expect. I'm going to take this iPad running the uh, Avid Control app, and I'm just going to take it away. We don't need it. Now, the Control app's fantastic, and in combination with an S1 and maybe an Avid dock as well, it forms a really powerful control system for Yukon-enabled apps, including Pro Tools. But it works fine on its own. It's independent but complementary with the other elements of those systems. So what's the S1? Well, it's an 8-fader, 8-encoder um, controller. Um, we have uh, touch-sensitive fader caps like you'd imagine, but uh, you might not realise that uh, these black encoders are also touch-sensitive, so that makes them very suitable for automation and uh, things like that. We've also, of course, got an OLED at the top, a row of buttons, which we'll have a look at, and another row of buttons at the bottom. So what exactly is going on across the top of this S1? Well, we've got this row of buttons, which control what we see here on the, uh, on the OLED displays. At the moment, we're seeing pans. You can tell that because pan is lit over here. If we wanted to see... Auxiliaries, we can see those from here. At the moment, we're seeing what's on uh, send A or send slot A. And if we page through, we can go down through all of the available slots. And we're seeing the same slot across all of the tracks currently displayed on the surface. This is called normal view. There's another view called channel view, where you can spill out parameters relevant to a single track across all of the available screens. I'll show you how that works if I go over into inserts. Now, at the moment, in inserts view, what we've got is we've got what's on the first insert slot across all of these eight tracks. Of course, if I nudge around, I can see what's on the other tracks as well. And if I press page down, I can see what's on slot B, slot C, across all of those tracks. So we're looking across the insert slots in the Pro Tools Mixer. If I want to look down the insert slots on the Pro Tools Mixer, what I do is I attention a particular track using the select buttons. Here, I'm going to attention this bass track. And if we go down, we'll see that we've got a few plugins to choose from here. The first four slots are occupied. So now, if I go into channel view, so hold shift to access this top row of parameters. And here we go. We've got this cross-hatched view here, which shows us we're in channel view. And we can see A, B, C, D, E down the insert slots. And we can see where these particular plugins are sitting on that track. If I want to drill in further and maybe have a look at one of those, this one band EQ, if I tap on here, it'll open it in Pro Tools. If I want to come back out to where I was, just hit back, and there we go. And if I want to come out of channel view, then if I just tap like that, I'm back in inserts view, I can go back to pans, there we are, all's well. That principle holds true for most of the things that you're going to do in the S1. You've got these two views, and whatever's attentioned can be spilled out, and its parameters across in channel view. Of course, there's an awful lot more to it than this, so we'll come back to that in another video. But for now, that's kind of like a top-level, what-is-this-thing-you're-looking-at view of the Avid S1.